Hi everyone, welcome to video number three in the three-part meditation series. This video is going to be about the amazing benefits of meditation and my personal experience with meditating. The first thing I want to start off with by sharing is that meditation helped me to heal my suicidal tendencies and depression. And this has been a huge part of my life ever since I could remember from being a teenager um, up until I was 21, I had severe depression and suicidal thoughts and it consumed me, consumed my life. And depression comes when we don't understand our thinking, when we're so attached to our thinking. And I read somewhere that depression is a lack of expression. We forget to express who we are. We're unable to express who we are and we're unable to really relate to ourselves in the world and we feel we feel like we're in this cave. We feel like we're in darkness. And so when I started meditating, I started understanding this idea that I am not my thoughts. And when I say I'm not my thoughts, that means I no longer choose to be defined by my thoughts. For example, let's say you have a thought about, I'm sad, okay? It's a thought. What you do with that thought is up to you. How you decide to give it power is up to you. The thought just comes. It says, I'm sad, all right? I want you to come in for tea, and I want to invite you in. I want to be friends with you. If you do that, that thought, you will experience the emotion of it in your body. But if you say, hey, I don't really like that thought. I don't think I want to invite you in. I don't really think I want to be friends with you. Then you just let it go. Then you don't feel the experience of that thought as an emotion in your body. And when I started understanding that I'm not my thoughts, that I don't have to be defined by my thinking, it was liberating for me because then all these depressive thoughts I was constantly thinking like life sucks, nobody loves me, I'm doomed, nothing's going to ever work out, I don't want to live, I want to die. I realized that those were just thoughts and if I didn't give power to them, they couldn't have power over me. And that is probably the biggest clarity I have received while meditating consistently is that Thoughts are just like the passing cloud. They're just like sand. Like, let's say, for example, that you have a bottle of water and you have sand in it. You swish this bottle of water around and sand just goes everywhere. It creates cloudiness. It creates this kind of muddiness. Once you just let the bottle of water just sit, the sand will settle. It will all just fall to the ground and you'll be able to have clarity again and the bottle will be clear. That's exactly what happens when we meditate. All these thoughts that are just constantly running wild, untamed animals are just calming down, relaxing, and then you can finally have clarity of focus. And that brings me to the second point, that I feel immense clarity and immense focus. Clarity in my thinking. It's as if though my thoughts are organized into little compartments. And I like to think of it this way. Throughout the day, we pick up all of these thoughts. Think of a thought as a post-it. You pick up this post-it, you pick up that post-it, and at the end of the day, you have like 100, 200, even 100,000 post-its. And when you sit down and meditate, what you're doing is you're organizing all these post-its, aka thoughts. Okay, here's the post-its about work, here's the post-its about my food, here's the post-its about my personal growth journey, here's post-its about my coffee, and all these thoughts feel organized. And so when you go back and you just be like, oh, what was that thought that I had about my work and my ability to succeed? It's on a post-it. You've already organize it and you can be like, okay, do I want to believe in this thought or don't want to just be like, you're not serving me, I'm going to toss this post-it out. That's what I think of my thoughts as. I think of them as t as a tool. It's my currency in this world. That's the only currency I truly have is my thinking. And when I understand that I'm in charge daily of what I choose to think and therefore what I think creates the experience I have, it gives me so much power to not feel like a victim in my life, to feel like the creator, the co-creator with the universe. And this is probably the second hugest realization I've had since meditating consistently. One of the biggest rewards I've received from meditating consistently is my amount of self-love for myself has increased. If you're someone who's depressed and suicidal, there's not a lot of self-love going on. You're in a basically hateful relationship with yourself and you're inflicting pain upon yourself in all these various ways. That was me. And 
Meditation has allowed me to harness the power of self-love. And I like to think of it this way. You wouldn't love a stranger, right? Because you don't know them. How can you love yourself if you don't know yourself? And meditation creates that relationship with yourself. You're sitting down in stillness. You're getting to know yourself. You're getting to know who you are. You're getting to know what thoughts you think that you have defined yourself by. You're creating this intimate relationship and friendship with yourself. And then you realize, oh, I can also love this person too. It's the same way. The same way you fall in love with someone you meet by getting to know them, by spending time with them, by nurturing that relationship, that's the same way it goes for you. you when you meditate, you're spending time nurturing, getting to know yourself from within, beyond this physical form because this physical form is temporary. It's not permanent. Your body is going to die one day and what will be left is you, the real you, the spirit, the eternal, the limitless self. Another thing I have noticed is that I have a deeper appreciation for life. And I can just look at the world and feel in complete awe and completely knowingly, not conceptually, but knowingly feel that I'm a freaking miracle. And I matter. Because I exist, I matter. It has allowed me to have this deep sense of appreciation for my life and for myself. And I look at the world and I see just amazing miracles and wonderful things. And I see this beautiful, whole love in the world. And it just makes my heart feel so happy because regardless of all the shit that's always going on and the things that are going wrong, I believe and I know that there's good in the world, that there's love in the world, and we have just forgotten the way. And meditation helps you remember the way, remember that you are loved, remember the appreciation, the miracle of life, and look at the world with childlike wonder eyes and just be in complete awe that you're on a planet that is floating in the middle of this universe that is spinning around the sun and it's just insane when you think about it. It's in your part of that and that you have trillions, billions, jillions of cells in your body that are reproducing and allowing you to digest your food and think and blink and speak and, and swallow all at the same time and your heart's beating. And it's just, you're a freaking miracle. Meditation reminds you of your miraculous self and that makes you feel powerful. That makes you feel like, because I'm here, I have something to give. I matter. I'm loved. I am a freaking child of God. And it's my right to own that. It's my right to be completely happy and enjoy this experience. Aside from all the things I just mentioned, a few more things that I have reaped rewards of by meditating is increased self-esteem, increased confidence, increased self-love, self-compassion, self-acceptance, this increased state of feeling good and this increased well-being i realized that first and foremost we are vibrational beings and we're energy energy manifested into physical form into a solid compound that is a human body with hair with eyes with legs but we're all made up of energy the same compounds the same elements that make up the universe make up us we and the universe are one and the same the universe is inside of me and I'm technically the center of the universe as well. And I've realized that since I'm a vibrational energetic being, my energy is probably the most important thing I can understand how to channel. And if I don't know how to energetically channel my energy, then life is gonna be just a complete shit show. I'm gonna feel so powerless. I'm not gonna feel like things are going my way. I've learned through meditation that the first thing I am responsible for is feeling good. And feeling good means taking care of my energy, taking care and elevating my energy and putting myself in this high vibe vibration that allows me to feel good. When I feel good, life is good. Everything is good. Everything feels amazing. Everything feels wonderful. And consistent meditations allow me to understand that when I'm feeling good, I'm feeling God. And that it is normal, it is natural to feel good all the time because if I don't feel good, I can't be optimally successful in anything in my life. I can't achieve all the things I want to achieve. It has to come from a place of feeling good. And I've really, really realized that. So every single day, the gift I give myself is feeling good. I wake up with the intention of feeling good and everything else is secondary because when I'm feeling good, 
I'm more inspired. I'm more motivated. I give more. I am fully stepping into who I am and I'm able to fully share my gifts with the world. And the last and biggest way meditation has helped me, it has heightened, increased my intuition. Intuition is a knowing from within. It is a gut feeling. It's that feeling you have, but you don't know why you have it. It's something that cannot be defined. It can be felt. It's an experience. And I just feel so much more able to hear my intuitive voice. And it's not an actual voice that you hear in your head. It's like, say the word hello to yourself without actually saying it. You know you said the word hello, but did you actually hear yourself saying the word hello? That's what the intuitive voice sounds like. You don't actually hear it, but you know you heard it. And because I've been meditating consistently, I have this increased sense of intuitive abilities in myself where I can know what my intuition is trying to tell me, which way it's guiding me, and what steps I want to take in my life. I never feel unsure of a decision because I know that it's coming from an intuitive place. And if I'm not sure of what decision to make in my life or what direction to go in, I always first consult my intuition. And I know right away if this is the way I should go or that's the way I should go. Your intuition is like your inner GPS system. It basically is like the map that guides you on this journey. It tells you this is the way you should go, make that turn, make that turn, make this turn. And when you listen to it consistently, your life will unfold in the most miraculous ways because mine has. I listen to my intuition like every step of the way this year and my life has unfolded in the most miraculous ways that I cannot even fathom. And when you meditate, you build this deeper connection with this voice that is guiding you, that is there for you, that has your back, that supports you, and is just telling you, hey, go this way, do that, do this. It's it's the voice of your spirit, it's the voice of your soul, it's the voice of God. It's this like still, subtle, really calm, really loving, really gentle voice. And I made a video on how to the difference between your ego, fear-based self, and your intuition. If you want to see that video, click somewhere right here and go find out how you can better understand your intuition. So this video concludes my three-part meditation series. And my intention is that after you've watched all three videos, how to meditate, how to create a spiritual practice, and the amazing benefits of meditation, you feel called, you feel excited to take on meditation as a part of your way of getting to know who you are as an expression of self-love, self-care, and helping you deepen your relationship with the universe, with the divine, and to listen and hear and lead with your intuition. With this, I want to share with you an exciting new course that I'm working on called Spark Stillness. It's a four-week meditation course on helping you understand how to create a meditation practice, on how to meditate, and how to really just consistently show up for yourself in meditation and reap the benefits, the rewards of meditation. And this is perfect for someone who wants to start taking a meditation but doesn't know where to begin and wants just a step-by-step -step guideline from A to Z and to create a commitment in their life that will allow them to be a better version of themselves and step into the person they know they are and to reignite their connection with their soul, with their spirit, and most of all, harbor and step into that magnificent, powerful energy of self-love. Look out for this course in the new year. I'll be launching it after January 1st. And if you want to get updates from me and inspiration and tips and a thought of the week, sign up for my newsletters, aka Love Letters, and you'll receive all of the information straight to your inbox. Thank you so much for watching all three of these videos. I hope that you take something beautiful away from this and that you adapt the meditation practice into your own life. Satnam.